You guys see this, dude? You see my tackle? You see my tackle pile, dude? You see how much tackle I got, dude? You want that long loogie, dude? Look at my tackle pile, bro. Tackle mile, tackle pile. Oh, shit. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Take these sunglasses off. It's time for a tackle unboxing, and this is a good one. In this video right now, I'm about to unload $500 worth of tackle. I got a new rod, a new reel, and $150 worth of baits and tackle right here in these bags. So, I know some of y'all have been looking forward to this video, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys right now. So let's get into it. I've been hanging on to this tackle, sitting on it for uh, over a week now. I've went and bought all this last Friday when I lost my rod. I didn't want to open anything until I could film a video for you guys. So I haven't cracked into any of this tackle, and it's just been sitting on the counter, and I've been dying to open it. I'm excited to finally crack off into these bags of tackle and show you guys what I got. There's a lot of stuff in here for springtime bass fishing, a lot of familiar stuff that you guys are gonna recognize. A bunch of cool baits in here they are gonna help replenish the tackle wall out in the garage. That thing is looking a little bare lately. Not only do I have a whole bunch of tackle, I also have the rod and the reel replacement. What I thought was gonna be the replacement for my lost Lunkers TV and Corrado DC reel. So if you're interested in seeing what I ordered to replace that lost setup, which I now have back in my possession, go back and watch the videos on that if you're wondering what I'm talking about. Crazy story behind how I lost and recovered my Lunkers TV rod in Corrado DC. But right here in front of me on the table, just out of your field of view, is the replacement rod and the replacement reel. And I'm gonna show you guys in this video right here. But first, we're gonna get off into this tackle. Field and Stream, Dick Sporting Goods, whatever you wanna call it, they had a tackle sale, they had a whole bunch of stuff discounted. That's some pretty good deals going on. Buy three, get one free on a lot of stuff. And they had discounted prices on a lot of the baits that you guys see me use right here on this channel. And I also got a whole bunch of new stuff, a bunch of different stuff. Two big bags worth of tackle. 150 bucks worth of gear right here. I kinda just wanna dump it all out on the table, but I'm gonna try to like pull it out one by one and show you guys exactly what I got. There's a bunch of stuff in here. All right, we're starting out with hooks and weights. I was getting low on four odds. So I bought a bunch of packs of Gamakatsu, four odd EWG worm hooks. I dropped one. These guys right here, this is probably the hook that I use the most. So I got several packs of those. I also got several packs of these black bullet weights. I got quarter ounce and 3 16th ounce bullet weights. Here on Lake Travis, I lose a lot of these, so it's good to keep a few extra bags in the tackle box at all times. Hooks and weights, not that exciting, but critical tackle. You gotta have these in the terminal box at all times. Got one down there on the floor I need to pick up. Set those over here to the side. Next up, they had a uh, buy three, get one free Kitex. So I swooped in, 3.8, so that's a, uh, that's the size that I like to use here on Lake Travis. 3.8s, two packs of the Sexy Shad color, Kitek 3.8 Swing Impact, the fat swings. I use these for swim jig trailers. And then I got a couple more colors right here, same size, same brand, same model, just a couple different colors. Buy three, get one free, Kitex, I'm on that. Set those over there to the side. Next up, you guys already know. This bait was also discounted and buy three, get one free. My favorite soft plastic bait of all time. You guys already know. The Zoom Salty Super Fluke. Bought three packs and got one free. Got some more lavender shads. You can never have enough of these. I got like 10 bags out in the garage, but can never have enough. So I went ahead and grabbed some of those. These are baby bass. I've been catching them out here on Lake Travis on the baby bass color lately, so grab some of those. And then this right here, Disco Green, is a new color that I'm excited to try out. I think that'll work well here. So, four packs of Zoom Salty Super Flukes. And let's bust out one of these Disco Greens, man. This is what the fluke looks like, man. You guys have seen it here on my channel before. That Disco Green is just, it's got like a little bit of pink flake in it, some black flake, and then silver, yeah. They're gonna eat that. They're gonna eat this one. I'll show you the other colors. This is my favorite color. My favorite flute color. I've done videos on this before. There it is again. You can see this bait on Toys and Tackle, episode three, I think we did, on the flukes. Toys and Tackle, episode three. Lavender Shad, Zoom, Salty Super Fluke. That's my favorite soft plastic bait. 
One more look at those baby bass. That's a good color. All right, four packs of flukes, four packs of Kitex, four packs of four aught Gamakatsu EWG worm hooks, four packs of bullet weights. Buy three, get one free on just about all this stuff. And I think there's only one thing left in the bag. And you already know what it is. The Gookskis. The Googans. The Googan baits, man. These are the Googs. What do I have in here? They were discounted, marked down, and then bought three, get one free. So I went ahead and loaded up on the Bandito bug. The battery died, so I don't know what you heard last, but hopefully you saw me pour the Guggen baits out onto the table. Got a fresh battery in the camera. Guggen baits, man. Let's go over the colors. I got a whole bunch of stuff here. I replenished on the Bandito bug. On uh, the Bandito bug, I was out there catching fish on this bait today before I came home and started filming this. So I love this bait. It's my favorite bed fishing bait. I'm excited and stoked to get back out there catch some more fish on this. This is my favorite color. It's the natural color. Rob from Lunkers TV, you'll hear him call it Oh Natural, but it just says natural on the package. But that color is awesome, dude. Like it's like a natural. <laughs> Obviously, like a natural color, a little bit of bluish green flake in there, and then it's got like a silver pearlescent belly. Dude, the natural bandito bug from Guggen Baits. Grab you some of those. I got one, two packs at least of the natural color bandito bug right there. I also got, oh, actually I got three, I lied. So I got three whole packs of the natural. That's how much I like that color. One thing I wanna mention, the bandito bug. The flute can all be fished on this 4 aught hook from Gamakatsu. They can be fished with these bullet weights. So there's a reason why I pick up this tackle. It's, it's, it's in a way universal with a lot of the baits that I use. It, it can match up with a lot of this stuff really well. I'm not saying that's the only way to fish it, but it is one way to fish this stuff. And I use these hooks right here with these flukes all the time. That's another reason why I got multiple packs of these hooks and these weights. All these baits that you're seeing me pull out can be fished on that terminal tackle. Some more colors of the Bandito Bug. I got, what's this one? Let's see, Watermelon Red Flake. Bama Bug, that's a good color. It's like a, a purple reddish color with some turquoise green flake in it. That Bama Bug, I've caught fish on this Bama Bug color. That's a good color. Green Pumpkin, you can't beat Green Pumpkin. If you're not sure what color to get, I would say Green Pumpkin or Natural. Those are the two colors that are gonna do good in just about any body of water right there. Now, up until this point, I have been reluctant to purchase any of the other Guggen baits and haven't fished the Mondo worm or anything like that, but I've seen people smashing with this trench hog, so I thought I'd better go ahead and grab a couple packs. So I got two packs of trench hogs, watermelon red flake and green pumpkin. So that'll cover all the bases right there. It's a big creature style bait. I'm gonna bust one of these out for you. Just in case you guys haven't seen the Guggen baits, this trench hog is it's a pretty gnarly looking bait. It reminds me of the Reaction Innovations Man Bear Pig. But it's a big old lizard looking thing like that right there. Man, I remember when I first started buying the Guggen baits, I hated the way they smell. Now I love it. Oh, dude, yeah, it's like coffee and black licorice. So yeah, you just wanna bust these uh, appendages apart. Hook that baby up on a four aught, dude. They are gonna eat that. I can't wait to get out there and fish with these. The body, I like the, the, the construction, man. The, the makeup, the body is like, a, it's a whole lot more springy than I thought. It's got a whole lot of rebound and stretch to it. The plastic feels really nice and soft. That's a cool looking bait. I think the fish will eat that. They come in these nice plastic clamshells if you've never seen the Guggen baits. Keep your baits shaped out right. I think these baits get a lot of hate from like professional fishermen and stuff because of, you know, the guys that make them, YouTubers. And I was skeptical too at first, you know, because I'm like a, you know, well, old school Zoom Salty Super Fluke, Zoom Worms and stuff like that. But I picked up a couple packs and then before you knew it, I was out of them because I had caught fish and just wore them all out until they were all beat up and needed to be replaced. So, so I know the Guggen baits work. I'm excited to try the Trench Hog. As you can see, I stacked up on the Bandito Bug. Hopefully this will last me through the spring and summer. That's a nice little stack of Guggen baits. All right, six packs of Bandito bugs in various colors from the squad themselves, the Guggen squad, Guggen baits, YouTubers that went out and created their own bait. 
because none of the major bait companies would work with them. Shout outs to these dudes, man. I'm a YouTuber. I love making YouTube videos. That's what I do with a lot of my time. So to see some people who, you know, pioneered the game and created this fishing video stuff and pretty much paved the way for smaller channels like myself, happy to support this company not only because of the cool story behind it but because these things actually catch fish and if you don't believe me watch my videos because you'll see me catch fish with these in fact i was out there catching fish on these just today moving on that's one bag down next up it's chatterbait city they had sale on chatterbaits i lost my chatterbaits they had these marked down and buy three get one free so uh i bought a lot of chatterbaits let's just put it that way z-man Z-Man Chatterbaits in all different colors, various sizes and colors. First up, these three are all three natural colors and three eighth ounce Chatterbaits from Z-Man. Give you a look at them right here. That one, that one, I like that color right there, and that one. So some just natural green pumpkin, brown kind of colors. There's a new color right there, that's interesting. Kind of stoked to see a what that one looks like in the water. Excited to try that one out, looks good. That'll pair up great with a Kytec. Also got this one. It's that little bluegill imitator, that chartreuse, white, blue, dark blue, chatterbait. Next up right here is this crazy looking dude, bluegill sunfish imitation. I think that'll do good. You can pair these up with Kytex, or you can pair these up with a Bandito Bug, whatever you want to use as a trailer. I went ahead and grabbed a bright colored chartreuse Chatterbait, just in case I was on some murky water somewhere. And uh, so I would have that as an option. Lake Travis here, the lake that I normally fish. The water is super clear, so this generally isn't a color that I would throw, but hey, you never know, man. Good to have it in the arsenal. That one's a half ounce. I think the rest of them were 3 8 ounce. Yeah, a whole bunch of 3 8 ounce Chatterbaits is what's going on here. Three natural color, and there's the other four. Z-Man Chatterbaits, 3 8 ounce. Yeah, I had several Chatterbaits I've been getting hung up and lost with them, so when I saw that these were on sale, I'm like, man, I'm gonna stock up. That way I don't have to worry about losing my Chatterbaits so much. So I got a handful of these bad boys. You know what would be a cool thing to do? Let's go ahead and just crack one open. Let's do a real tackle unboxing. Good look at that big old hook on there. Pretty gnarly. Show you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna grab one of my natural bandito bugs. Clamshell. It's a good look at that bait. Check them out. That's what makes the difference, man. That, that side right there looks so good and flashy in the water. Natural. All right, I'm gonna take that natural bandito bug. Make sure you separate your appendages. You wanna get all the action out of that bait. You, you don't wanna go through all the trouble of rigging this thing up and then not have it perform the way they designed it. I'm just gonna thread that bug right onto this chatterbait like so. And that right there, my friends, is a gnarly looking chatterbait with a nice natural bandito bug trailer on there. You get some nice chattering action out of that. And that right there, that's fat girl food. That'll get it done. Nice hefty 3 8 ounce chatterbait with a bandito bug trailer. Fire that thing out there, chatter it on back. Psh, dude, it's going in the box just like that. You think I won't tie that on and fish with it? Watch me. That looks good. That was fun, all right. Let's move on, man. I know you guys are ready to see that rod and reel. Got a couple more baits to show you. It's a pretty good little stack of baits we got going on over here. Found another chatterbait. I forgot I got this guy. Just regular white 3 8 ounce chatterbait. Throw a Kytec on the back of that. Lake LBJ, juice. Another chatterbait. Last, but hopefully not least, I don't really know much about baits like this. I saw them, they were on sale, decided to grab them. I've heard of them before, but I don't really know anything about swim baits, man. I got some soft swim baits, man. Look at these guys. It's like a, a yellow and then a more. See, we got, they both say Threadfin Shad. So, I don't know, shad patterns, 
Shad color, soft swim baits. Let's crack one open and take a look at it. The world of swim baits, something I've never even, oh, they have a spot you can put a treble hook on there if you wanted to. But yeah, there's a, that's a cool looking little swim bait. I've never really uh, messed around with anything like this before. Where I come from, if you fish something like this, you're gonna get hung up and it's gonna get lost. And you're gonna be mad. These were $10 a piece, so. I think that's what they were, $9.99. I don't have any of the receipts with me, but would be would be bummed out to lose this. But I grabbed a couple, hoping that maybe this might catch a big fish when I'm out there trying to target a larger bass. Catch a lot of the smaller guys here on Travis, but it'll be fun to go after those big girls. Tie on a swim bait, maybe a 130 millimeter whopper plopper, get it done. Two of those, live target, swim bait series, threadfin shad. Pretty cool. And that's it, man, for the tackle. That's a pretty solid pile. That's a pretty solid mountain of stuff to add to the tackle wall right here in front of me. I mean, it's more than I could hold. It's more tackle than I could ever hold. I'm stoked, thankful to have this. Actually, I made this tackle run to kind of cheer myself up after my rod got taken. It was gone and I was bummed out and I was like, man. Mm. So I went to town and I bought some tackle. Try to make myself feel a little better. And I thought to myself, my friends over here on YouTube probably want to see all this tackle. So I waited and before I cracked into anything, before I took anything down there to water and fished with it, I wanted to take it out of the bag right here on the channel for you guys. But you know what time it is now. We're done with the tackle. It's time to get on to what I bought to replace my stolen rod. A little bit of backstory. Stolen, taken, returned, whatever. I thought I had lost my rod and reel. I set it down at the lake and went on, forgot about it for a few minutes, came back and it was gone. If you wanna see more about that, there are videos on that back on the channel. It took me exactly seven days to get my rod back and in those seven days, I was pretty freaking heartbroken, dude. Um, my fishing gear, as you can see, I invest a lot in it. I invest a lot of money in this gear and when that rod and reel was gone, I was absolutely heartbroken and I couldn't help but order something to replace it. Some of you guys may may already know what it is, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna crack into it right now. Here's the rod. Uh, I wonder what it is. Yeah, let's get off into here. As you can see, it is from Favorite Rods USA. I wanted to go ahead and get another favorite to replace the favorite that was lost. And so that's what I did. Something else, when it came, it was broken. So super freaked out. I had to open it real quick and look and make sure everything was okay. Luckily, this is the flex end down here, so no damage whatsoever to the rod. We'll go ahead, pull that off pull this thing out right now man here it is are you guys ready are you guys ready moment of truth right here man now you guys get to see what was i thinking what was i thinking guys i went out and replaced the lunkers rod with the lunkers rod oh we just knocked over a couple toys that's okay yeah that's right guys i got the same rod again you already know dude that seven six heavy i love that rod so much and when it was gone i knew that i had to have another one eventually so i went out and got another one straight from favorite this is an awesome rod i love it i have to have it in my collection at the time like i said when i ordered this i thought i was never going to see my other one again is it silly now to have two? I don't know. You tell me. I'm pretty stoked. Now we have two. Now we have two. There it is, man. The Lunkers TV Defender Series from Favorite Rods USA. 7.6 Heavy. This is the juice right here, man. If you're looking for a good heavy action rod, I would recommend this one. I would say this is a good one to go with. It's sensitive. The ergonomics on it are amazing. I love this rod. I had to have it. It was gone and I never thought I was gonna get it back, so oh, I just ordered the same rod. So there's the rod, and now, as you may have already guessed, yes, indeed, the reel that I ordered to replace the missing, lost, stolen, taken, gone forever until last Friday 
Shimano Corrado DC was in fact the Shimano Corrado DC. So now we have two. I just duplicated the setup. I thought my setup was gone. I was bummed out, I was heartbroken. I ordered the same thing. In the meantime, in a miraculous turn of events, I got my old setup back. So now, not only do I have my original Lunker's Rod and Shimano Corrado reel, I now have a second Lunker's TV 7.6 Heavy rod and a second Shimano Corrado DC reel. There it is. Yes, another DC reel, stoked, number three in the arsenal, right there. I'm happy to have another Lunkers TV 7.6 Heavy. It's one of my favorite rods. I use it all the time. A lot of times I'll retie it because I don't want to pick a different rod. So now I can just keep a different bait, a different setup on another 7.6 Heavy and another DC. These reels are awesome. You guys know about the Corrado DCs already. I have other videos on this. It's a digital fishing reel. Super cool microprocessor inside of the reel here that measures the spool speed once every nanosecond. So. Yeah, pretty cool, got me another one. Needless to say, I was pretty bummed out when I lost these last time, so much so that I had to go out and buy an exact replacement. Yeah, I know I was kinda leading you on, making you think I bought something different, but no way, I just bought the same thing. And then it came, and I was stoked, and then I was waiting to do this unboxing, and while I was waiting to shoot this video, I got my old rod back. It was a crazy story. Go watch those videos. We doubled up on our heavy settings. Let's go, man. We got this rod here. Let me get this whipped around. Don't knock over anything. Okay. All the, the favorite rods come with this nice rod sleeve, rod sock. Love that. Can never have enough of those. Shout out to Favorite Rods USA, man. Those guys are awesome over there. If you remember back on the channel, they sent us a free six stick one time for Christmas. That was cool. Never had a, a major company like that send me any free merchandise just out of the goodness of their heart for uh, noticing me on social media and seeing what I was doing with their products. So that was cool. Got picked by them to win a free rod. But here's the new Lunkers, man. Nice and shiny. Don't worry, I'm gonna get it dirty. The other one's all pretty faded. I caught a lot of fish with that other one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna catch a lot of fish with this one too. Saddle up. Let's get that reel on there. I know you guys wanna see what it looks like with that pony. That pony in there. Look at that. That's the juice, people. That's the super juice. Oh man. <laughs> uh, that's right. Two, two, number two. We'll call this, we'll name this one number two. We got number one and number two. Camera one, camera two. Yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did do that. Heartbroken, man, heartbroken over losing that first one. And then once this one was here, you know, I had the option. I was like, I can return it and get my money back or or now just wait, just wait, 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 stay with me, just wait. Or we could keep it. Yeah, which one's more fun? I'm all about having more fun here on this channel. All right, so a quick recap before we shut this one down. We got the Shimano Corrado DC Reel. This is the 150 XG, the 8.5, extra high gear. Zing, zing, fast, I like it. This is a seven foot, six inch, Heavy Action Rod from Favorite Rods USA, Defender Series in partnership with Lunkers TV, YouTuber, Guggen Squad member, Rob Turkla, I believe this is his name, former military and uh, d helped design these rods, these Freedom Sticks, super cool, happy to have another one. Shimano Corrado, one of the best reels on the market in my opinion, at least one of the best reels that I've ever owned, I love fishing with them, got me another one. Stoked on that. We got more bandito bugs and Guggen baits than we know what to do with, man. We're stacked up with the bandito bug. We got six packs in multiple colors. But like we said, man, that natural color, that's the one to keep your eye on. There's the stacks, stacks and stacks of racks. Banditos, man, all day. We also grab the trench hogs because we want to be able to try these out. They look deadly. Zoom, salty super flukes in various colors. 
These are the juice. Chatterbait City. I got more chatterbaits than I can fit in this box right here. More chatterbaits than I know what to do with. All different colors, 3 8 ounce. I'm gonna pair these up with some Bandito Bugs, with some Kytex, or any other trailer that we might pick out and throw on the back of these. This is a super popular bait, one that you should definitely check out if you're looking to catch some largemouth. Chatterbaits, man, a whole box full. We got packs and packs of Kytex in various colors. This is probably my favorite color right here. It's the sexy shad color. And then we have a couple of other colors right here. Kytex, man, this is my favorite swim bait trailer. The action on these is incredible. Check them out if you haven't already. They're a little pricey, but well worth it, especially if you can find them at a discount like this. Buy three, get one free. Come on now. Kytex, live target swim baits. Went ahead and grabbed a couple. They look like shad. I think we might be able to catch some big fish on these. I don't know, we'll see. Stay tuned. Last but certainly not least, you can't get anything done without hooks and weights. Four aughts from Gamakatsu, black bullet weights, $500 worth of fishing tackle right there for you guys. That's a mega stack. That's a mega stack of tackle right there, man. That's what's up. Can you guys see that, dude? You guys see this, dude? You see my tackle? You see my tackle pile, dude? You see how much tackle I got, dude? You want that long loogie, dude? Look at my tackle pile, bro. Tackle mile, tackle pile. Oh, shit. That's gonna do it for this one, man. I'm gonna head out into the garage and get the new rod and reel set up here. Spooled up with some fresh braid. Maybe tie on a four aught and a bandito bug. Head down to the water and try to catch me a fish. Don't worry, I'll be filming, but you guys are gonna have to wait for the next video to see it. That's gonna wrap this one up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please go down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Catch all my future content. I put out new fishing content here all the time. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys on the next video.